guys, Nylon here, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. I'm in the chicken farm right now, and there's a chicken in there. I'm not, I'm not sure how he ended up in there. I guess they're glitching through the walls and stuff. Um, but I was just collecting some eggs in the chicken farm. And I've actually done a lot of work since last episode. Most Oh, no, chickens, get in there. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Chickens, no. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Damn, that, those chickens are like escape monsters. Get in there, little chicken. Get in there. Ooh, I killed him. That's not good. Let's actually cook, cook some of this chicken up since I'm pretty much out of food. Could we have some in there already? Um, like I was saying, I've done a lot of work since last episode. Um, I don't know if I said this last time, but I bring... Or I don't know if I bring this the bed over here last time, but I bring, I bring my bed over here just because it's so hard to work through the night in the mine and so I've just been sleeping through the nights and the reason I was over at the chicken farm is because I ran out of food so I went to go cook up some food um, holy crap there's so many mobs out here alright there we go um, let's actually take a rest so I can finish what I was saying so I'll show you guys all the work I've been doing in a second if we look down here, oh yeah, we've been going pretty far down. Off camera, I've dug a lot. I've done, I think we did the first layer, first or second layer um, last episode, but I've gone down like three more layers, and I've just been mining away. My diamond pickaxe actually broke, so I made two more iron ones and just enchanted them at level one to get efficiency one. But yeah, I bring my bed over here because all these mobs were like walking down these rail tracks and killing me down here. Um, and I've been cutting down some trees. Uh, cooking up some cobblestone to the smooth stone and I have a lot of wood and basically in today's episode I plan on finishing digging to the bottom or to level 11 because that's where I where lava starts in the comments last time you guys told me that lava starts around level 10 um, which that's what I thought it started around so I was right good for me uh, but first I would like to go and get some cows because I want to get a level 30 enchantment on a diamond pickaxe because um, I'm hoping that once we get to the bottom we're going to be getting a lot of diamonds. So, let's actually put this here and then the rail here. Like that. And I'll show you what I've been doing for this rail track in a second. Let me just place these upside down stairs. Um, so, as you can see, the these connect like this. I put upside down stairs there so it doesn't look like such a weak connection. It looks like an actual rail track. Um, but the reason I've had it uh, continue like this straight is because I'm going to be putting putting powered rails here and it's really hard to power powered rails going down like this I mean I could do it but I just like the feeling of it's a gradual decline so like right here I'm going to be going straight across to the end and then I'm going to go down straight across then down um, so it's going to be like a gradual decline and we're going to need a lot of rails for that um, so I remember last time the cows were over in the jungle um, so I'm going to get some stuff together and we're going to head over to the jungle and lure some cows over here. We're actually going to need... I'm going to put all this wood away because we're not going to need it right now. I just put this chest here. I've also brought it over an enchantment table and everything. I put all this stuff here so I can just store everything and I don't have to run back to the base every single time. And I've also planted a bunch of saplings here. So I can get a ton of dark wood and all that good stuff. So I'll meet you guys in the jungle. Well, actually, I still need to gather some wheat. So I'm going to gather some wheat. I'll meet you guys in the jungle and we're going to lure some cows back here and make a little pen for them to stay in. And while we're digging down here, we'll breed the cows and hopefully we'll have enough cows by the end of the episode to kill off and then make an enchantment room. So yeah guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and I've got all the cows in here. I actually just dug them a little hole down here. Uh, just two deep and four, four by four. Um, and that seems to uh, keep them nicely. Hopefully they don't glitch into a wall and suffocate. They've been doing that a little bit, uh, but they seem to be fine. I got a decent amount of cows over here. I've been breeding them a little bit. Um, and as you guys remember, um, a long time ago, uh, I went to the jungle to get a piece of leather, um, and that was the only place I found cows. So I went back there, and I brought a few back here. So hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll have enough cows bred in there, like I said, um, to get an enchantment room and maybe do a level 30 enchantment. Um, but right now, I want to get some more iron pickaxes together dump some of the dirt in our little chest right here and 
Let's see if we have any iron. Yeah, we have iron in our inventory right now. So let's go ahead and make ourselves three more pickaxes. We're going to do a bunch of level one enchantments. Hopefully we get just efficiency on them. Efficiency one, great. Efficiency one and breaking one, that's even better. And efficiency one. So those, those will do just fine. Uh, and I'm just going to take some of this down here. I have, let's look up some cobblestone actually in here. I've only got 10 coal left. Hopefully we find some while we're digging down some more. And a creeper blew up here, so I have to go get some more glass. Let's actually do that now. Just need to collect a few more pieces of sand, which will probably be finding. I'll find some over here. Yeah, it looks like there's some sand over by there. I'll take some of this. And I'll probably be collecting all these rail tracks that led to the village. Ooh, there's some coal over there too, so that's cool. And what the heck? Oh yeah, I remember we had to pillar across this ravine. This is going to be a cool ravine to explore later. Goes into a mountain. Yeah, this is all coming back to me. I haven't been over in this area in a little while, so... Just getting back into the swing of things with this Let's Play. So let's get these and that patch over there and we should be good I don't want to totally destroy this area of sand so we're gonna to have to find a des desert sometime soon and I'm not sure where one actually is I think I might might have saw one um, over in that direction but I'm not too sure uh, so right now I'm just gonna start digging down and I'll probably stop it here speed up the clips put some music on and hopefully you guys enjoy okay guys so I decided against doing the uh, little montage with the music uh, just because uh, I was actually digging this out just earlier and it, it was really really long and I thought it would be boring just watching me dig so I decided to take that out uh, but as you can see I've gotten really really close to the bottom uh, we're actually at level 42 now and if you guys have checked my thumbnails I actually got a new thumbnail from a Minecraft Let's Play where I put the screenshot in the middle um, it was made by Dezo so thanks very much for that Dezo and yeah I think the thumbnail looks a whole lot better so let me know your feedback your feedback on that guys um, I don't think we're actually gonna make it to the bottom of that this episode uh, just because I mean I've been digging for a while I've went through a full diamond pick almost four or five efficiency one iron picks and we're we're pretty close we're getting there um, and I, I want to keep getting more resources like chopping down trees and stuff um, but we're running low on iron now I've actually collected r the rest of the rails from the um, villager roller coaster over there uh, so we have a bunch of stuff here I brought some of the resources that I had the three diamonds um, from the house that's over there over here and let me just throw some of this in here um, we're actually gonna be doing a little bit of caving because as you can see five iron left that's definitely not gonna do us for the rest of the way to the bottom so I'm just thinking what we probably need we're gonna need another iron pick and as you can see I'm at level 20 I've been breeding these cows like crazy I'll show you in a sec what do you mean about that? Um, so let's get this together. Probably only need one more iron pick, so let's enchant that at level one. Oh yeah, efficiency one. And let's throw some of this in here. I also want to get a lot of coal and just a, a lot of resources all together so we can start um, getting to the bottom really quick. By the time I'm done caving, we'll probably be able to uh, kill all the cows because I've been breeding them a lot, like I said. Uh, let's see here. Just throw all this in here. I don't need that. That I'll need this. I'll just put these over here. I'll take these for torches. Keep this iron in case I need some more stuff. Seeds I don't really need. This wheat I'll keep. And we need some more food. So let's see, I'll take this. And, oh, there's nine chickens, so we're good. And yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Let's just take some of that in case we want to make some torches. And I'll show you what I did with the cows. Uh, so I actually took the cows out of the little hole down there that I had made. Uh, just because they were suffocating in walls and uh, I didn't really like that. So I took them out. Oh, we, we do need a sword. I would have been stupid not making a sword. So let's find us a crafting table. Oh, do I have to go all the way back? I might have to. Let me get some of this wheat harvested. So we can go ahead and breed these cows again. See if they want to breed. You guys want to breed? Yeah, you do. You want to breed? And this guy wants to read with this guy. Yeah. And then this guy. Does he want to read? Good. Oh, yeah. So this population is growing really quick. Uh, there's one guy over there. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's a real loner. Got to get him back over here. 
Um, so let's actually go ahead and make ourselves a sword, because if we didn't have a sword, we'd probably die really quick. And I've, saw, I've seen a cave over when I was chopping down trees. We'll go see if I can find that cave and do a little bit more caving before the end of the episode. Um, next episode, we'll probably almost be done with the uh, mine. We'll probably go down to the bottom. And actually, I want to take a ride on this. I haven't really taken a ride. No, because then I have to go all the way back up. I don't want to do that, but just watch the minecart go down. That's pretty cool. I have to say. I mean, it's pretty fun going down there. And the minecart goes a lot faster when there's a person in it. Why did they bring these chicken eggs? Let me throw these here. I was going to make a sword. So let's make one iron sword. I'll enchant it at level one also. Because we're probably going to need sharpness one down in these caves. Yep, yeah, there we go. Eat some of that chicken. And I think we should be good to go. Let's just see our coordinates here. Just so if we go too far, we'll be able to find our way back. So negative 100, uh, Z100. So that should be pretty easy to remember. And the cave was just over here. I'm pretty sure. If it's not, then I don't know what to say. Oh, there it is. I think that's the cave up in there. Let's see here. Yeah, there it is. That's a cave. So let's hop down here, and we already got some coal right off the bat. Let me make a few torches. Get these torches going, so you guys can actually see. And hop in here. We got some iron, which is great. I'm going to be needing that, like I said. And if we could find some diamonds, that would also be great, like always. Um, when's not a good time to have diamonds? It's always a good time. Oh, I thought that was emeralds for a second, but that's a creeper down there. Better be careful around that guy. So let's just gather some of this coal. Get a lot of resources. Um, I've been using a lot of like the wood that I've been collecting to uh, cook up the stone, and that hadn't really been working out because I needed the wood to uh, build the mine, so I had to go chop down a ton of trees. I was just going back and forth, and that took me about two hours to get to where I, the point I am now. Um, so you guys should be seeing this episode probably around... Today's Friday. Yeah, you should be seeing it Friday. And hopefully you guys did enjoy my face cam video. That was uh, my Hunger Games episode 7, 10,000 subscriber special. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that. And if you haven't seen it already, go check it out if you really want to. I'm sure some of you guys probably want to see my Hunger Games, but I don't know if all of you guys watch my Hunger Games series. Um, but if you don't, you should really check it out because it's a lot of fun. So let's get the rest of this coal. And put some torch down. Last night I was actually studying for some chemistry stuff, and we have to memorize all this, all or all these elements and ions, and it really took a long time. So I wasn't able to get it up, an episode out to you guys yesterday, and we actually had the quiz today, which was it was all right. I I don't know how well I did on it, but I think I did pretty well. Um, some of you guys probably are taking chemistry right now and maybe studying the same thing elements and ions. Uh, I don't really get the point of memorizing all of them, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's get the rest of this coal up here. And I'm gonna try to be getting more frequent uploads out to you guys. I know I haven't been as frequent. Um, just stuff with school and all, all that kind of stuff, but I've had some time uh, to record a little bit more lately, so hopefully we can get that done. Oh, is this cave done? kind of sucks, but we did get a decent amount of coal and iron, so, I mean, I'm going to head up here, see if we can't find a nice little, another little cave, because that one's done, so let's, can I pillar up here, there we go, jump out of here, and actually, a lot of my friends from uh, school have been starting Minecraft channels, uh, on YouTube, uh, one of them being the Minecraft noob. Uh, he's been starting a couple of them, and Murtis TV. He's uploaded a, a Minecraft video. Um, so later on, you might be seeing me do some videos with them if they uh, start taking this video YouTube stuff seriously. Uh, but until then, I don't know what they're doing. They're if they one of them does not have a mic yet, so I wouldn't be recording with him anytime soon. Um, the other one, his videos, he, he needs to get a, like upgrade his computer because his computer isn't too good and he, he can't play on the Minecraft like full settings, so it doesn't look as good. 
Um, but you guys should be seeing some videos with them uh, sooner or later because they're probably going to upgrade and stuff. Uh, but I don't think we're going to find any caves here. I'll take that sugar cane though. <laughs> so let's see here. Anything? No, nothing. Damn it. I want to go caving. Come on now. There's a skeleton over there. He knows I want to go caving. Oh, is that a cave over there? Come on, please be a cave. Yeah, that looks like a cave to me. Hell yeah. I'm going in here. More iron. Always useful. Oh, this looks like it's going to be promising. And we already have a stack of coal, so we shouldn't need too much more. Probably just get one or two more veins, because it does take a long time to mine through. Oh, we got a, a zombie villager and a creeper down there. That's not good. Oh, he killed him. He killed him. I'm pretty sure with the zombie villagers, you can actually uh, cure them, and they turn into regular villagers. So if you never find a village in your world, you'll be able to use some sort of potion or something. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I, that's what at least what I've heard. So I could be totally wrong here, but I could be right. I have no idea. So get this gravel out of the way. Oh come on, tell me this goes down. I want to go down. Get some of this iron here. Uh, so my plans with the l little strip mine uh, diamond quarry thing is once we get to the bottom is we're gonna split off in four directions or actually three. Yeah, three directions and we're gonna have one huge tunnel and then a bunch of little interconnecting tunnels within and you guys see uh, what that's gonna look like later on because um, it's gonna take a whole lot of time to get to the bottom but once we do get to the bottom we're gonna have big rewards and hopefully get every diamond there is down there oh crap creeper next to us Ooh, he only took half a heart that's pretty good I don't know how that happened uh, probably because there was like a block next to me I was blocking but that was that was pretty cool. Blocking with your sword actually doesn't allow them to take too much damage from you. I, I learned that a little while ago, but once I did, not dying from creepers too much anymore. Let's get the rest of this iron, and I don't know if I want to head th that way over there, or this way, down the other way. Hmm. Hey, bat. What you doing over there? I want to kill this bat. There we go. So this way looks a little bit more bigger. Um, and I probably will do a little bit... Ooh, a ravine. Emeralds. Lava. Um, but I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more caving off camera. Uh, since I don't want to be make this like really boring and stretch on like a long, long caving. Um, so it, when we do find diamonds, I think that was when we we're going to end the episode. But I'm not sure. If, we'll, if we will find diamonds. I hope we do. And how much gold do we have now? A stack and a half. So let's just grab the rest of this. I think this is the last of coal that we're going to need. And then we'll hop down into here. Grab that emerald, which is really nice. I could always use a lot of emeralds. Oh. The zombie. Let's see run along here. This is actually a huge ravine. Wish we'd go down a little bit further though. Th this is just a huge cave system I have to say. So let's try to jump over there and get those emeralds. What level are we on now? 31. So we're getting there. We're getting closer. grab this guy. I actually want to get a screenshot of this emerald for my thumbnail. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's just take this cobblestone out of here. Make this thumbnail look really nice. This is what you guys are going to be seeing. Alright, I think that will look good. There we go. It's going to look really nice as the thumbnail. So let's get this emerald here. I think it's only one. Yeah, it's only one. Not sure if emeralds come in veins of two or one. I'm pretty sure they only come in veins of one. But there was one time when I found. Ooh. These bats are pretty annoying, I have to say. Oh! He's got a slime ball! I need that. Give me that. Oh, is that two? Two slime balls? That is pretty epic. We're going to be able to use that for our chicken farm um, for sticky pistons. 
How did that guy hold a slime ball? I guarantee you there's probably a slime chunk around here, which is really awesome. Let's see. This lava looks glitched out and everything, so... Don't really want to mess with this stuff. Oh, well, let's try to dig around here and get to the other side, because there might be a chance that we can find some diamonds. You never know. Right, there we go. And dig our way over here. Nothing. That's too bad. Alright, so let's get out of here. And head back up the way we came. Um, but I think I'm going to head back to the base uh, and see what we got with the resources. Cook up some of this iron. And I'm going to try to make uh, those sticky pistons for the uh, chicken farm so we can uh, finish up like making it look a little bit better. Because uh, the top sticky piston on the chicken farm is... Oh! Creeper, I just heard him. No, that was not a creeper, was it? beats me. I have no idea what that was. Just fell down. Uh, but yeah, this sticky piston is going to make the slime farm look a whole lot better because we can add a block to the end uh, so we won't actually see the actual piston. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, guys, so I'm back again and I've made it back to the base. Uh, I actually gathered a little bit more iron and coal uh, as on my way back. Uh, but I'm cooking up all this stuff with 16 coal in each furnace and I put the stack of iron in here and we're just cooking up a lot of stuff so we're gonna have enough resources to probably finish this off next episode um, but what I want to do now is uh, what do I want to do? I want to take these slime balls over to the chicken farm so we can swap out the regular piston for a sticky piston um, so let's head over there, I'm gonna need one stone brick so let's make that uh, so let's go over here. I've actually been breeding the chickens a little bit, so you should notice a little bit of a difference in the chickens. There probably should be a little bit more in there. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot, and I don't know why that guy died. I don't, I don't think I killed him. Um, but as you can see, this piston... Oh! That's why I want to switch it, because the chickens, they just don't know what they're doing in there. There's like a couple in there. What are they doing in there? Alright, well this needs to stop. Get out of here, chickens. Alright, they cannot be in there. They're like glitching in there, and that's not cool. So I need to get in there. And, oh, I need to plug this off really. Oh, no, the chickens are coming in. No. No. The chickens are escaping. It's getting this way, I guess. All right, there we go. Holy crap, a lot of chickens died in here. Uh, but I need to plug this off so the redstone does not get destroyed. Actually, let's just place a block right here. Oh. Could have been bad. So the piston needs to go right here with a slime ball. So now we have ourselves a sticky piston. Dig one more down. Is that bad? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's bad. I can, I think I can move this water though, one block. Hmm. Let's put a block here so this does not do anything stupid. Uh, do I have a bucket on me? Damn it, I have to go get a bucket. Let's get ourselves a bucket. This is a total mess down here. Not liking this too much. Uh, but since we got the iron, it should be easy, fairly easy to get a bucket. So let's just jump over this hill right here to our little mine. Oh no, it's, it's pretty much. Oh no, here it is. I thought it was over there. So let's grab. Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Grab some iron real quick. One, two, three. Craft one. I don't want to fight the skeleton. Actually, I probably shouldn't, then I should sleep. There we go. Oh, and two bones. That will be good for um, breeding those cows, because I need to get a little bit more wheat. And as you can see, there's a ton of cows down there. Uh, so, like I said, I was going to make... What was I going to make? Oh, bone meal. There we go. So let's hop back over here and put that sticky piston in. Oh, I was going to go sleep. That's what I was going to do. Damn it. Let's go back up here, I guess. So I don't want any creepers sneaking up on me in there and destroying all that redstone. Because that would absolutely suck. I hate dealing with redstone and creepers and water. It's just the worst combination. Alright, let's do this. Get back over here. How'd that chicken get over there? It's not good at all. I think they're all escaping right now. Yeah, they are. Pretty much all of them, but I'll be able to get them back in there. 
don't worry. So this water can go right here, I'm pretty sure. So let's take this smooth stone and block that off a little bit. I'm pretty sure the water can go there. If, if it can't, then damn, that sucks. If it can't, uh, but I'm pretty sure it can. So let's take that out. I should be able to put a sticky piston. Okay, that didn't ruin anything. Sticky piston right. Come on now, break faster. Right here. And then. Since all the chickens are already out, it doesn't even matter right now if I break this. Uh, so that should push up with a stone brick on it. So let's put a stone brick right here. And we want it extended right now, and that's not going to work because there's. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we want, we're going to want it to be extended, so let's actually go back to the redstone. And hopefully there won't be any water coming in it now. Let's get this and this. So the redstone repeater is going to go here now, and then there and there. And that will extend it. Uh, so let's actually just do that. Okay. And then kill this chicken. Get that guy out of there. Uh, jump up here. Place that dirt back. Two more, I, th I think that's good. And then if we do, we can just take this stone brick. Oh, did I just do something bad? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Take that right there and there. So now we won't be able to see this whole piston here, and the chickens shouldn't be able to glitch in. Because when I remove this, um, they, they can only go so far into there. So let's see that in action. Let's actually get out of here and set everything back up because the chickens are all out. I need to get some seeds so these guys can start breeding again. Take that away. Alright, so I don't have any seeds. Let's go bone meal some of this stuff. Get this wheat growing so I can get maybe a little level 30 enchantment pretty soon. Alright, there we go. Lay those down. Alright, chickens, come on. Let's go. We're going back in. Follow me. Let's go, chickens. We just need a few in there. We just need, like, two or three. Let's push this guy in there. There we go. They're cooperating. I mean, and what I've been thinking, guys, I've been thinking of starting, like, a Hunger Games server. Uh, or actually a bunch of them, so you guys would be able to, uh, go on and play Hunger Games. Uh, kind of like the servers that I play on now, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about that in the other episodes since it's kind of coming towards the end. And let's actually test this out really quick before the end of the episode. Let's see this in action. So if I pull... No, no, that's not... I need to do this. There we go. So that should pull down the piston. And... Yeah, there you go. Now you're not going to be able to see the piston there. So thanks, zombie holding the slime balls. That was pretty nice of you. So let's turn that off so there's no more lag. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys next time.